Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, I failed my last hour and get wrecked in the last minute. And I get this Conquer 3. This has already been a long time since I doing a last hour arena feed. Actually, I used to be Guardian 1 arena. This for Camilla, this is the dupe. You can get salty or comment whatever you like but I feel sad get 4 Camilla it's better to get Feng Yan get other Hathor Geni or even Tiana, Pisama, Zyros but I can get it see I already play Summoner Wall since 26 November 2014 basically it's already my 4th year playing my summoner war and I just recently starting my youtube channel maybe it's too late but it's better than not start anything okay today I will show you how I am basically a free to play player I never buy any pack but I buy one one pack that the one dollar pack or or nine cent pack something like that to secure my account to get five crystal or something like five crystal they don't sell it anymore they used to be selling the five crystal see this is the fourth I used to be buying not this not five dollar pack but the pack already disappeared but it's okay okay today i will show you how to start strong if you if you new to this game if you new to summoner war maybe you still confused how to spend the glory point you get from arena okay one if you want to max your building like me it's obviously i already max all my building as you can see this I already max all my building see see like this see all my building are already max as you can see all of my building already max you want to up this building first speed is important speed is king in arena in guild war battle so you should Invest your all your point glory point in this first. Up the sky trap totem to level 10 first, and after that, you want to spend your glory point buying this devil mon. Devil mon is the the monster that can increase your level your monster level skill. So if you have a net five, say you have Cho Cho you want to max skill the toe you want to max skill the justice so the cooldown become two turn but you don't you don't actually need to further other death knight dragon knight sorry so you can max it just by further your toe with this devil mount so you basically need to buy this devil mount for 180 glory point cost after you can for the devil mount you should you should save start saving your glory point to upgrade the building the first thing you can upgrade is this mysterious plan i see in the previous balance pad the cost of upgrading the mysterious plan building and the crystal rock i think or something like that already become a ch much cheaper like something of an energy so you basically to want to upgrade your sanctum of energy plus 10 energy is crucial here so you if you say you want to refill 30 crystal and you are already level 50 you only get 8 80 energy one refill but if you max the sanctum of energy you get 90 like me see this 
I get 90 here. Okay, after you buy Devil Moon, upgrade the Sanctum of Energy, then you sold this. The mysterious plan give you the production speed of energy recharge. The recharge rate becomes faster, 30% faster. Okay, after this, you want to upgrade. Start by Sky Trap Totem. After Sky Trap Totem, you can up your Win Sanctuary. If you have Lucent, Lucent is really useful in our in PvP. So you need to up Win Sanctuary first because it's cheaper than Attack Universal Building. Attack Universal Building, I think, much more. The price is higher than. The elemental attack percent building. Okay, after you can max this, so you your Lucent hit harder. So it's time to max the crit damage. Crit damage is actually important. You can max the crit damage first or attack percent. It's up to you. But for me, I after speed, I upgrade the critical damage first. And then I upgrade the wind sanctuary and then after that you maybe want to defense up your defense because the defense you can your chopper bulldozer and fangyan maybe or ferret can benefit from this after then you want to max skill max the attack percent universal the HP and other building Elemental building first, after that the arcane tower and then the arcane tower attack power and attack speed after that why I don't upgrade this fairy tree and mana fountain because I don't like it only mana story mana I can just farm necro and dragon and what about you after you max what about you like me already you max all the building and you don't know how to spend your glory point your glory point can be spent here you can buy the scroll i personally buying the devil moon after i can afford the devil moon i will buy the three mystical scroll after i can buy the three mystical scroll why i still left with 744 because in the next week I can immediately buying the Devil Mount and the three mystical scroll again. I don't like to buy an elemental scroll because the elemental scroll is you can buy it if you want, but personally I will save it for the next week. It will happen 48 minutes after this. Okay? And after you know how to wisely spend your glory point then how about for farm the glory point okay for farming the glory point first first thing you do need to do is drop your defense you can drop your defense with this just place any one star like this it's okay if you already drop the defense you can you can get attacked by most of people after that you will lose some point and you will drop your rank after you drop your rank you can just revenge the enemy here revenging it <clears throat> and and you should do the all this daily mission thingy because the daily mission thingy what is this finish <laughs> as concurrently the achievement though building the friendship you can get three wings free from this so after you get free three points you will drop the defense and as you can see here most of, of people likely would drop their defense in the early week so you want to drop your defense in after the arena tally, you want to drop your arena defense till Thursday or Friday, it's up to you. Until th Thursday or Friday, you can 
go full defense so you can climb start starting to climb up your arena so you don't start too low if you start too low on sunday you will not get it the rank like conqueror one or conqueror three or conquer or guardian one if you drop too low you cannot get that rank on time in rush hour on sunday but if you don't care about the arena rank it's up to you you can drop your defense till saturday so you just go yolo full defense on saturday night and start climbing in saturday night or sunday morning it's up to you but you as you can see you you should not if you can conquer like me you should not drop your defense too easy if you drop your defense too easy you cannot get to the rank of conqueror so basically this is my drop defense it on sa sunday night after tally till monday at not monday till thursday or friday i will go full defense after that so because you as you can see Mm. Uh, as you can see the glory point sorry where is the glory points thingy the reward wow i forget oh you should do the reward the reward give you the glory point but i think okay here i will explain to you if you challenger if you win you only get plus three glory point fighter you get plus four glory point if you win the fight on fight on factor rank but in, in conqueror to guardian to legend you get plus five per win in battle so you if you want to start farming the glory point you need to become at least conqueror rank or fighter rank so you can get the plus five or plus four go your point okay hope this video will help you sorry for my long talk but honestly this game is all about farming but sometimes it's all just about the right monster like the net 5 the right net 5 I admit it this game is summoner war Be why summoner war because you need to summon the right net 5 if you want to conquer this especially in RTA real time arena okay but if you want to start strong max your building first this is my advice for you guys hope you enjoy my video click subscribe if you want to show any of my next video bye bye